Hello, it's Paul from Paul Fights Cancer. Uh, this is my second video I've done, uh, which I'll upload onto YouTube. Uh, my background is basically um, I've got stage 3 prostate cancer. I was diagnosed one year ago. Um, following three or four months of repair and recovery through surgery, radiotherapy. I'm now on hormone therapy and I'm trying to get my life back to normal. And one of the ways I've been able to start to do that is to seriously look at my lifestyle, my diets, the foods I have, the, the drinks I consume. So my first video, which I did yesterday, was all about drinks. Uh, new drinks I've brought into my life, which I think are much healthier, better for me. will start to correct the imbalance in my body, uh, strengthen and boost my immune system. Uh, revitalize me, give me more energy um, and mentally feel sort of more prepared for this difficult but somewhat challenging road ahead which I'm about to embark on. It's a bit of a journey. If you are fighting cancer, if you have cancer of some kind, it doesn't really matter what type, um, I'm sure you're constantly looking out for new drinks and supplements and foods to take. Well I'm on the same journey as you. I'm no different to you, I'm not from a medical background, I just simply start to read more reports, um, look up more things on the internet, try and understand nutrition and, and, and nutrients and the values of them and how they work and for my cancer I try to find things all the time that's going to be a little bit better for me. What I'm going to talk about today and please when I finish this video and post it on YouTube please don't be afraid to add comments, have a look at it share your thoughts. What I say is just for me. It's what I am doing. It doesn't mean you have to do the same thing. You might have got something similar to me as a, as a type of cancer or you might know somebody with a type of cancer similar to me and they're doing something totally different and it's working well for them and that's good. But please let's share things together uh, and hopefully we'll all collectively benefit. Okay my topic today is I'm going to call it the Super Six these are six items that I have in the kitchen all the time now um, different types of items that I try to add to any kind of meal or drink or soup or anything whatsoever I always do a little sort of health check when I prepared my meal or my snack and think can I add one of my super six to this to further enhance it as a, as a nutrient giving anti-cancer fighting product so I'm going to go through them one by one you might recognize them, you probably do recognize them and use them regularly already but for me I used all these items in a minimal way if at all in the past and I've changed dramatically in the last four or five months uh, and these are part of my ongoing diet okay the first one is um, simple ginger root, root ginger um, known as a delicacy or a spice or a medicine um, I often stick it into green tea so when I make my green tea in the morning and the tea bags in there I'll cut off a small slice of ginger root pop it in there and let it kind of fuse away it adds a flavor but it's very very healthy for you um, very good source of iron so adding it to green tea is good um, when I do some kind of desserts which I don't, I don't do many desserts nowadays I'm, I'm finding my way with things like that well, I'll add them to rhubarb and they do a crumble or apple pies, things like that. Um, my understanding is that regarding cancer, root ginger is good at tumour reducing. So, I mean, my tumour's been removed and well and truly thrown away, but some people might be on stage 1 or stage 2. Stage 2, they've got a tumour coming from the gland. Um, it might be not been removed or the, the NHS have got no plans to remove it so you might want to look for things that are tumour reducing and I believe I understand that ginger root um, is a great um, item to help reduce a cancer tumour so have a good think about that um, strong antioxidant qualities so item number one try and add it whenever you can I add it to my juice drinks when I do a vegetable drink or sometimes the fruit drinks just to give it a kick um, just a quarter of an inch of the root ginger into the jar get it juiced down and you can always tell when there's ginger in something it's a fantastic flavour 
Item number one, root ginger. Item number two is turmeric, um, which is a spice um, commonly used in Indian cuisine recipes. Um, used in curries, um, gives a very kind of yellowy look to curries. Uh, gives a wonderful kick, a wonderful flavour. Uh, sometimes if you spill it around the kitchen, as I often do, uh, around the basin and that, you certainly know when you've used turmeric, because it leaves a stain which takes some shifting. So if anybody's got any ideas on how to get rid of the stain from turmeric, uh, that'd be really good, let me know. Uh, this is really powerful. This is a potent cancer fighter. I hardly ever used turmeric before, and I'm now looking for every opportunity to use it in my diet, whenever I can. Um, I don't often do curries because there's too many things in there that I think at this moment in time I'm a bit concerned about, so I'm not doing curries or making curries. Um, but it's got an active ingredient in, in, inside turmeric called curcumin, and this is powerful and it's, it's high, widely recognised as being a good anti-cancer fighter. It's an active ingredient, so it works. Um, not just cancer, other diseases, arthritis, diabetes, many people with allergies, um, Alzheimer's. Um, there's many reports to support turmeric as a, as a spice being added to foods to fight all those diseases in some way, shape or form. Um, at the moment I make my own soups, I just sprinkle it on the soup to give it a bit of a kick but also to get it into the product as well so it's actually going into the system. Um, I do have potatoes, I, I tend to have sweet potatoes, sprinkle it on sweet potatoes, roll it around in the bowl a little bit, maybe add some really good quality butter um, or olive oil to it uh, and that gives the sweet potatoes a fantastic taste. And also roast potatoes, I, I, I put into the boiling pan of, of potatoes when before roasting, throw a, a teaspoonful of turmeric in and then roast them with the turmeric on them and it's, it's really really it's really nice it's really interesting um, most important many reports um, very few reports are saying this is uh, something not to add many reports are actually sort of shouting the praises of turmeric my second item try and add it in any way shape or form you can I've tried it once on salads and I was nearly sick my stomach was probably not ready for it so I might have to give it another month or two and try it again Item number three, the popular lemon, okay, high in vitamin C, just a good all-rounder. Um, I slice it up and add it to water, which you've seen my other video, you see I'm always drinking water with sliced lemon. Green tea, put a slice of that in there, it works fantastic. Um, sometimes it works with honey well, as well in tea. Um, Cooking and baking, find a chance to get the rind in there, not just squeezing it, get the rind in there. When I'm juicing many of my vegetable drinks and my fruit drinks, which I do a lot of every day, um, I love about an inch of lemon into the juice mix, juice it down, and it does two things. First of all, it adds, it's good for me, and it, secondly, it also, um, if I keep the juice drink and store it for a day, to drink it over the day, or do my carrot juice, um, a slice of lemon in that juice will preserve it a little bit longer. Um, because often the vegetable drinks that you maybe want to sort of have a large amount of in store for a day, or the fruit drinks you might have made in a container for the day and drink throughout the day in bits, um, sometimes I start to lose a flavour or lose a strength. But apparently lime uh, and lemon will help preserve. It's also known as a cleaning agent. Um, I'm often using aromatherapy, but as a cleaning agent, when my pans are filthy, which they often are, and the sink's filthy, which it often is, um, I just get a slice of lemon and just kind of mop it round the area, and it's it's fantastic. So, very versatile, very healthy, powerful vitamin C, um, a really good addition to you, you know your drinks like your teas and your uh, and, and your glasses of water. Okay, item number four, one of the superfoods again is garlic. Um, here's a, I think it's a bulb of garlic you would call it, the small little pieces inside are cloves of garlic. It's part of the uh, allium group, which are all very, very good for you. That includes leeks, shallots, onions, chives. Garlic is 
the best performer of this very powerful group, certainly in your fight against disease, in your fight against cancer. I hardly ever used to eat any kind of garlic, uh, and I'm just trying to find anything I can add it to. Um, it's easy to grow. I've just uh, broken one of the bulbs up into about four or five different cloves. I've stuck them in the garden about two inches deep, put some compost over them. This is autumn in the UK. Um, apparently they're going to seed about seven months later, so you can grow your own, so save a bit of cost, but it's nice to do your own stuff. Many reports out there on the strength, the anti-cancer fighting strengths um, of garlic. Um, very few are contradictory. Most are very good. It's good for your heart, it's good for your system, cardiovascular properties. Um, how do I use it? Well, sometimes if I feel really brave, I just take the kind of outer skin off the little clove, so I've got like a nice clean bulb, wash it, and then just gulp it down with a glass of water. Often I chop it up, sprinkle it over a salad. I've just had some soup earlier today, I just sprinkled it over the soup. Um, and it goes down. Try and chew it if you can rather than gulp it down. It needs breaking down a bit, so try and do that if you can. Um, there's many things that you can add it with. I've started baking it on a baking tray for a good 45 minutes uh, when I'm kind of having chicken or fish. Um, and even when I'm not having chicken or fish, just on maybe a high sort of vegetable meal. Um, it's much more edible. It's, it's, not, as a, it's not as aggressive as maybe just eating it raw is. It's, it loses a bit of that kind of pungency and it has a nice flavour to it when it's baked for about 45 minutes. So you can then just chop it up and kind of blend it in with your potato or as you're having a mouthful of fish or something like that. Just have a little small slice of the baked garlic and honestly it's just a different thing altogether from the thing that you know as a, as a raw food. Um, there you go, I've thrown it on the floor now. I couldn't juggle it. Um, Item number five, garlic. Sorry, item number four is garlic. Uh, item number five is, is just basically like a yogurt thing. Um, under the heading of probiotic, it basically means um, live yogurt. So don't rush out and start buying these sort of twenty pence yogurts. It's not they're, they're nearly it, but they're not quite it. Um, these are deemed to be probiotic. Um, they're known as beneficial bacteria. Inside your body there is beneficial bacteria working and bacteria that's not beneficial. They both are in there quite naturally in your gut and colon and that sort of area. Sometimes though the non-beneficial outweighs the beneficial. So to make sure you've got the balance on the right side, having something like this product um, as much as you can uh, is a good way of fighting it and just making sure the balance is, is the right way. Um, it cleans the gut and colon. Um, they're already found in the intestine. The probiotic bacteria, the naturally made and, and sort of um, bodily sort of developed bacteria, are found in the colon and the intestine. Uh, but we do need to add something to make sure it stays uh, the right side. Um, I'm not promoting Yeo Valley here. Um, when I went round my local supermarket, which is Tesco. I saw many of them, but they didn't mention probiotic, which I didn't understand, but I just got told that it's a good thing to look out for. So I do sort of buy this brand regular now. Um, a carton this size will last me about two days. You can add it to anything. You can add it to your smoothies. Um, you can add it to when you've made a fruit drink or a vegetable drink and using your juicer. Just put a blob of it in. It's not going to hurt. Um, it's certainly going to do you some good. Um, I use it with my mixed berries, which is my final item I'm going to talk about, my sixth item I'm going to talk about in a moment. Uh, I just sometimes just I grab a spoonful and just throw it down. Um, it's a good thing to have in there, working for you. It's beneficial bacteria, it's live yoghurt. Uh, don't just buy ordinary yoghurt, there's complications with that, it's not what you think it is. So that's item number five. The final one is just my, I've got a bowl here of some of my, my mixed berries, um, popular berries. Raspberries, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, black currants. Throw into a bit of a collection. Uh, organic is a key thing. If you buy frozen, okay, not a disaster. If you somehow find a supplier of frozen organic mixed berries or summer fruits, as they sometimes call them, please do so. These are brilliant. Um, powerful antioxidant. 
many many benefits to your whole body to your immune system to boost energy levels the key to them apparently is you know like you might picture a, like a single raspberry or a single strawberry if you look at it close it's got little, little sort of hairs little furs on it well these little hairs or furs <laughs> might not appear like they're, they're worth much but I can assure you that those actual little pieces uh, and the seeds of these berries are the ones that contain the real strong anti-cancer fighting properties so you know when you're eating it and you're enjoying the juice and the colour of it, the flavour of it and all that sort of stuff it's, it's the thing that's working equally as much as these small little furs and, and sort of hairs on the berries I have them with yoghurt um, I'll mix the yoghurt and the berries and throw some seeds in which I, another video will talk about seeds um, just good for you uh, I make a fantastic smoothie from the berries using coconut milk throw them into my blender sometimes a ripe banana in there as well make a fantastic smoothie which goes down a treat um, use it as a dessert or a smoothie but again my sixth item there is mixed berries organic key thing all the time whenever I'm talking to you on these videos try and go for organic I think that's it really I'll try and retrieve my garlic clove from the floor which I threw away a few moments ago um, these are just things I'm starting to use I maybe used occasionally in the past but now they're a daily part of my kitchen they're right in my face all the time they're, they're out there um, you know where I can see them I never hide these things away um, so whenever I'm eating anything I just quickly think right my super six which of those can I now quickly add to enhance this to even put more nutrients in my body to make me healthy feel better look good feel good about the thing I'm I'm doing the thing I'm fighting so there's my super six I hope you've enjoyed that please if you've seen this video stick a few comments on there like it or dislike it uh, most importantly just share what you're doing because I want to know what other people are doing I'm just doing what I think is right but I don't know if I'm doing right things or not so come and share your thoughts with me um, look out for my new website which will be going live in about the middle to the end of December it will be called paulfightscancer.co.uk and great to see you today and thanks for checking out my video and have a great day take care bye for now